the combination of sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid produces nitrous acid. When a primary amine reacts with nitrous acid, a diazonium salt is formed. The diazonium ion may then be employed in subsequent transformations. The first phase of the mechanism is the formation of nitrous acid and subsequently the nitrosonium ion through the reaction between sodium nitrite and hydrochloric acid. The process begins with the protonation of nitrite. Nitrous acid results. If a second protonation occurs on the hydroxyl group of nitrous acid, a good leaving group is formed. The dissociation of water produces the nitrosonium ion. In the second phase of the mechanism, the electrophilic nitrosonium ion reacts with an amine. Nucleophilic attack of the amino group is the first step. The ammonium ion that results then loses a proton to water to afford an N-nitrosamine. When a secondary amine is used as the reactant, the reaction halts at this stage because the nitrogen bears a second R group and therefore has no protons left to lose. However, when a primary amine is the substrate, the reaction proceeds further through protonation of the nitrosamine oxygen. This yields a resonance-stabilized cation. Loss of a proton from nitrogen then yields a neutral intermediate and this neutral intermediate is protonated again on the hydroxyl group. This forms a good leaving group. The loss of water follows to afford the diazonium ion. These diazonium ions can engage in a variety of reactions. However, alkyl diazonium ions are not especially useful because they are so unstable. They rapidly lose nitrogen, which is an excellent leaving group that bubbles out of the reaction mixture, as denoted by the arrow pointing up. The carbocation that results will yield a mixture of first order substitution and elimination products. Second order substitution and elimination pathways are also possible prior to the loss of the leaving group. The extreme reactivity of alkyl diazonium ions makes it difficult to use them in a productive fashion. Aryl diazonium ions, on the other hand, are much more useful because they are stable enough at low temperatures to be used in selective transformations such as the Sandmeyer reactions. In the Sandmeyer reactions, an aryl diazonium ion is treated with a copper salt, namely copper bromide, copper chloride, or copper cyanide, to yield an aryl bromide, an aryl chloride, or an aryl nitrile. Mechanisms are not typically drawn for these reactions because they involve single electron transfers. There are also a series of related reactions that yield other substituted arenes. For instance, treatment with potassium iodide produces an aryl iodide, while the use of fluoroboric acid yields an aryl fluoride. The reaction with fluoroboric acid is sometimes called the Schiemann reaction. Additionally, hypophosphorous acid will replace the diazonium ion with a hydrogen atom. Alternatively, treatment with water can be used to prepare a phenol. All of these conversions could be described as substitution reactions of aryl diazonium salts 
because the diazonium ion is replaced by another group in each instance. Another type of reaction available to aryl diazonium salts could be described as diazo coupling. In diazo coupling, the aryl diazonium salt is treated with an electron rich arene. An electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction ensues, in which the diazonium ion serves as the electrophile. The electron-rich arene plays the role of the nucleophilic aromatic ring. It attacks the diazonium ion to generate a sigma complex. As in any EAS reaction, the final mechanistic step is the loss of a proton from the sp3 hybridized carbon of the sigma complex which restores aromaticity to the ring. The product of this reaction is known as an azo compound due to the two nitrogen bridge between the aromatic rings. Azo compounds possess extended conjugation and are therefore colored compounds that are useful as organic dyes. In summary, when a primary amine is treated with sodium nitrite and HCl, diazotization occurs. If the primary amine is specifically an aryl amine, that is to say aniline or an aniline derivative, the diazonium ion is stable enough at zero degrees to be used in a variety of reactions. These reactions fall into two broad categories, substitution and diazo coupling. The Sandmeyer reactions involve treatment with a copper salt, namely copper bromide, copper chloride, or copper cyanide, to produce aryl bromides, chlorides, or nitriles, respectively. The Schiemann reaction utilizes fluoroboric acid to generate aryl fluorides. Diazonium ions may also be treated with potassium iodide to yield aryl iodides or with water to afford phenols. And finally, hypophosphorous acid simply replaces the diazonium ion with a hydrogen atom. In diazo coupling, the diazonium ion acts as the electrophile in an EAS reaction. It is attacked on the terminal nitrogen by an electron-rich arene, and the final product is an azo compound, which contains a nitrogen-nitrogen linkage between the two rings. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, or in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.